Hello friends, today's video is uh, about solving the problems in Excel. Uh, so we start with the forecast solution with exponential smoothing and mean absolute deviation, mean squared errors, uh, then correlation chart and its values, finding mean standard deviation, then finding the trend lines. So in the decision science, we had first problem to find the solution where uh, the data was like um, foreign tourist arrival in India in millions in, uh, uh, and the year 1991 to 19, oh, sorry, 2017. Uh, first thing you can just do is draw a simple line chart. Here, let us go to data, right click select data we want x-axis to have year and uh, yeah. year and uh, let's remove year from here take it from here okay so 1991 to 2017 simple line graph you can plot it you can label the axis and label in millions yeah okay now let us move on to the calculation part of it this is a formula to calculate uh, forecast for the FT plus one uh, here first one value is uh, as it is for uh, uh, because we don't have the previous data to calculate ft plus one so in the ft plus one from the second year onwards again we don't have our immediate year values with us so it will go as uh, uh, I, guys i've just used this this formula in the form of excel here so if i just double click what it is saying is alpha, this is alpha, xt, xt is our uh, uh, value, the previous year. Uh, then we have 1 minus alpha, 1 minus uh, p24, then we have ft. So ft is this one, p26 here. Okay, and this one is for errors. The difference between the forecast and the actual one okay oh, sorry so you uh, the, the first row is going to be same and the second row onwards we will have the different values so what we are trying to do in the first one is we are just taking the real value as our forecast value and that's how we are getting this number now here onwards you can just go ahead with taking the actual values so you can see the, this difference in the c27 okay similarly you just have to in this one row if you have taken just double click you will get the complete for uh, formula worked out in the row similarly here just double click you will get the complete row worked out so maybe i can just give you for example here double click it will work out double click you'll get the formula okay so similarly you have to go ahead and uh, do this formula and here uh, I have tried to calculate for MAD and MSE 
MAD is asking for the absolute error uh, summation of absolute errors and this is for the square of uh, errors so in the absolute one what you have to do is it is as it is values but uh, only thing is if you find a different signs then you try to make the uh, value okay so here this is the one value where you try to eliminate the sign uh, and multiply uh, to get it as a positive okay and uh, here coming here it's a square of each error so when it's alpha 2 alpha 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 so once you're done with that um, just come uh, come down and take a summation because the formula is calling for summation divided by number of forecasts so here number of forecast is 17 okay when sum divided by 17 you're getting this value now when you come here you will get a very close uh, the errors total you are getting it in alpha 0.8 the errors are very small that's how you go with the preference of alpha 0.8 with that basis you can calculate for forecast of 2018 so 2018 maybe my formulas has not come completely so you will be able to get a little different value okay so this is how you have to calculate if i just double click you can see the formula here what i have taken is the last ft is here this is the value what i have taken for the calculation okay moving on to the question two question two is asking for the correlation charts here uh, and the correlation charts first thing is uh, let us go to file then option then uh, go to add-ins in add-ins go to excel add-ins here you have to check analysis tool pack okay once you have done check analysis tool pack go to data you can see data analysis prop is here okay now i'll show you how we will work out with the data analysis and first thing is this is what is the actual data it's been given now first question is uh, in migration of uh, persons from other states with uh, total msmes okay this is the graph we are looking at what we want to do is data analysis here here we have correlation correlation input data select this input data you can just copy paste the table for ease of doing our things because here we have like four values so it's better you make a simple uh, data one then look for output range where we want our results to be i'm going to select this cell okay and you'll be getting your correlation value okay now let us see how we can draw our diagram chart basically insert go to scattered so this is what is the scattered now if you want to add up a trend line just click on you will get a trend line okay so exactly what we were looking we have created here and of course you can just add uh, access title what we are looking here is uh, in terms of now let me just check the unit number of migrants and then msmes okay so you can look for here this is we can go ahead with some numbers since we are looking for now we we have to look against each other so we can go ahead and name it if you want against the x-axis and y-axis just to find the correlation so since these two axes you can call it as numbers itself
once you see the data this shows the positive correlation of the data similarly i have done it for all other charts and then you can go ahead and create the correlation chart and every time you're doing it guys uh, for the correlation value please do check your input and output okay so it will not take automatically if you have selected data and just gone to data to check uh, correlation values okay once you have clicked it go ahead take the input because it will just consider the earlier input okay then moving on to Three A question. Here it is the simplest one. Is asking you for the mean and standard deviation calculation. Mean is but average, average, and uh, just track the formula. You will get it for Buffalo's standard deviation for sample. You have to take a standard deviation available as sample for us in this. You also have option for standard deviation as population. Okay. So these two you can go ahead. Now moving on to 3B. 3B this is the data what we have given and then it is asked to create an appropriate chart. So if you can carefully look at here, this is like a pivot table. Uh, data is pivoted for you like table wise year. Production of groundnut, production of rape seeds and mustard. Similarly it is going. So it is 1952. 1952 2021 okay the simplest thing is what you have to do is just copy and put it paste it one below other it's a manual one so definitely you can come up with little more smarter ways but the easiest way is this is the one what i find it now what you can do is just select simplest form this is what is the line chart insert Go to line chart. You are ready with your chart. That's it. So you can easily name, add your title, year, number, production quantity on the y-axis and your chart is ready. So simple of all three problems is this is what I find it. So I hope guys you are able to uh, solve your problems using the Excel and if you find any uh, where some data mismatches and all please do uh, excuse me because uh, the, finally i did a little bit of uh, editing here for the calculation okay guys then thank you so much and all the best for your assignments